What do you mean? Uh, yeah. Welcome back so much I got to last Fate. Week. Rise of the Madness. Okay, as, com to, as compared uh, to uh, most weeks. Yeah. This is part 25, session 25. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, this is the family business part two. Yeah. The party is separated. That's another fly hard. It's dice hard. Uh, we're currently in a, a, a state of uh, shock. shock and separateness. Kane is up by his lonesome in the stairwell, I believe. Yep. You were in some vents, basically. Hiding yeah. out. Hiding <laughs> yeah. out. Uh, we'll get there. Yeah. Soul. Yeah. I'm a hostage. A hostage <laughs> in oh, the God. main room with <laughs> Gronz <laughs> Hoover. You're basically okay. Holly at this point. Yeah. Who, who is no. not a nice person. I believe you shot you because you were near, impertinent. Yeah. No, I, was, I, I told him I was trying to help him, I think, and he shot it's a, better, it's a better fate than Ellis. So, yeah. Where's yeah. Margaret? We're downstairs. Yeah, why don't some people shoot me when I'm trying to help her? Is Harriet still asleep? Murdered and no. Got the other guy's attention. Um, because I left, she was sleeping. We started inside. <laughs> No, Everyone is movies. okay. So let's kind of do a little bit of a recap here. Yeah, recap. Kane is up at the top, has his quest. Everyone else was in a sort of building off to the side, waiting for the sort of initial part of the meeting to finish up. So they can go up there. Well, in the interim, there some bad stuff happened, and the team of uh, uh, marksmen, if you will gun-toting individuals. Entered, killed several people, and have essentially taken the Karaki family hostage. Uh, you all have made your way into the lobby, found the receptionist dead, and then uh, an old, uh, old Uncle Mateo appeared, stepping out of Harriet's shadow, I think it was, and, uh, because, you know, she cast a big shadow, big shadow, and he was just jacked up, because he was shot up real bad, uh, to the point that he basically, when he arrived there, he was unconscious and dying, okay, they, uh, they, they healed, <laughs> that's our crazy dog, it's okay. Uh, crazy dog. And we, uh, and that's actually where we start. We're starting with the group on, in the lobby. You have found also that the elevators, such as they are, are disabled. Go figure. Not that we everybody understand. everybody but Kane, right? Kane and Quetzal. And Quetzal. And Quetzal, okay. Right. Now, Quetzal, I believe, oh. did a, uh, uh allow... <laughs> Call, call mm -hmm. and I heard it sort of triggered and the group going in because I had a uh, good so, reception. Yeah, and that's if, the only reason we're going in this yeah. building right now. If you didn't know that it was bad, you definitely know now because of all of the graphic violence in the lobby, <clears throat> mm -hmm. splatter and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> What? The, yeah, the, the receptionist was oh, brutally yeah. murdered by gunshot. Yeah. Now, as people who basically wield somewhat large weapons a lot of the day, um, taking you know thirty flights of stairs is really not a big deal. It would kill me in real life. Mm. Uh, <laughs> like I would just die. There's too many stairs. Uh, but it'll take some time to get up there if that's the way that you're. I mean, we don't really have uh, another choice. Yeah. That is true. I lived on the 13th floor uh, towers one year and the power went out. Corvus, the newest uh, sort of tag-along fellow who is with them, is, is the one who healed Uncle Mateo. Uh, so he is not dying, but he is definitely unstable, very unconscious. Yeah. Uh, and you don't, I mean, it's just not, he's not, he's, He's not waking up anytime soon. Yeah, but we tripped He's like, stable. I, I made sure he was stable and kind of put him up in a corner yeah. so he knew like he was hidden. Yeah, stable and he won't die. Uh, you do know that and the city guard are also 
going to begin showing up, showing up, which will probably not be great for them, but we'll see how that plays yeah, out. Yeah, that's not <laughs> my problem. Uh, that never works out well for the police force. It's okay. Quetzal will save that day. He's got it. So. Yeah, it didn't really work out for him. What do you all do? It's got, it's got a plan. Tried to kind of blew up that up the stairs. Like, like after dead. we checked on everything, I understand there's some murderers here. Something's not right. Mm-hmm. We're making our way upstairs. We knew the family was up. At least I knew the family was up there. Now, there are... Okay, so you have a handful of options here. Obviously, the stairs are one. No problem. The stairs are definitely doable. It's a little cramped yeah. for the sake of the larger people, uh, like Harriet, for example. Um, although she could take them like three or four at a time, it's totally fine. Um, there's also the option, because even, even though the elevators aren't working per se, you can still probably get your door open. And climb. And climb. Hmm. Uh, that would probably be a faster way. Uh, a little I, more strenuous oh, than true. the stairs. But yeah, I think. Could least. Harriet just. Um, technically it's it'd be hard it would be hard because you'd be fully stretched out to do it um but i i i think slow and steady getting up the stairs is our best bet okay came you are in the stairwell uh it's not good nope what's going on for sort of uh, sort of cut to Quetzal, and you notice that about half of the so like seven of them stay in there. The other six leave to go start working on the vault. Uh, yeah. Uh, so Bronze Hoover's still there. Yeah. As is Coral. 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 <laughs> very, very funny. Oh. <laughs> and he, <coughs> of course, a handful of people who don't know their names. Okay. Uh, but that's that's kind of what's going on. Kane, also, as a note, you do happen to have plans for the vault. And interestingly, uh, the sort of relevant parts of the building. Very handy. Conveniently. Very, very <laughs> convenient. Because so, Uncle Mateo was showing you so, yeah, so, so that you could grab those. Help assess the security security of the vault. <clears throat> yeah. Which will be tested now. What would you like to do? Um, I'm going to go up to probably like the next floor and like sort of check out to see if there's anybody else up there. Okay. Um, like, kind of scope it out. I got See you. if they've moved moved throughout the building. The upper floor is where a lot of the like, documentation is kept. A lot of the uh, business documentation. Hmm. On its own, it's not worth a lot. It's I mean, it's useful for planning purposes and estimating hmm. future quotas and all that fun stuff. Mm-hmm. But um, there are also a lot of little sort of like cubicle-y office spaces with glass panels. Uh, <laughs> sort of... Keep my shoes on. Oh, yes. Keep your <laughs> shoes on. <laughs> Shoot the glass. <laughs> oh. yeah. um, okay, but not, there's not any... But there you're going to have to roll yeah. for that. Right. I think. There, there is... Um, you, you don't see any movement in there. Okay. Um, checking the little papers, like what floor is the vault on? Uh, the vault is on the... Oh, gosh. So you guys have started at 30? 30th yeah. floor? Yeah. You're on the 30th floor now. I can't remember. Is, is it on the same level? Uh, I don't remember. think it was on the 32nd. Second, the yeah. Okay. Because it was because they then went yes. up two floors where the offices seconds. were. <laughs> That's okay. it. Yeah. It's All right. Mm-hmm. It's uh, noted. All right. Well, um, 
<laughs> that I didn't remember. Now, like I said, I watched it last night just to just yeah. in case. So yeah. no, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're right. I'm I probably sure it was should have. Thirty second. Yeah. I guess I think he went up one and it was like <laughs> unfinished, and then went up another, and that's where like the little offices were where he shot the. Oh, I gotcha. So I guess then the thirty first one that you're on would just be like construction equipment. I mean, it doesn't it's, matter. It, it's, it doesn't it's, matter. Ultimately, yeah. Uh, yeah. Unfinished floor. Perfect. Unfinished floor. We'll just say there's also glass for shingles because it's. Boring. I mean, the, the floor that they shot up was also unfinished for yeah. some reason. They put all the glass in before they finished everything. Yeah. It doesn't seem like a really. They just put in all that glass. They were. They were also. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like this, like this also, is a contractor. It's like. They're also. At, uh, is that really just happening? Computers that were on. Oh, everywhere. Yeah. Uh, in and this construction. Was so those yeah. layers. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, well, I'm going to go up to the floor that the vault is on okay. and try to, like, like crack the, the door and, like, look through it. Okay. Give me a okay. stealth check. Okay, and I think I'd pass without trace at the yes, end of the last you session. Did. you did. So you that did. should still be active. It is, indeed. All right, uh, stealth is a... <laughs> so without pass without trace, it's a 24. 34. 34. You're invisible. Uh, yeah, so oh, they the certainly uh, have no clue that you're there. Uh, do you have, like, the Debus of Omicron or something like that? Yep. Oh, I do. So uh, that technically gives me an advantage. <clears throat> ah, the first one rolls better. Okay. Still, it doesn't matter because 34 is obscene. Uh, so now give me a perception check. Okay. As you peek through the door. Uh, let's say 14 plus 11. So, 25. 20, wait, 13 plus 11? 14. 14, okay, 25, yes. Uh, okay, so you see a handful, oh, well, a handful, well, six people start setting up equipment. You see, like, a pretty heavy-duty looking drill of sorts. Mm -hmm. Um, and some equipment that looks like they have like a handful of magic wands. Um, they have some technology that you're not super familiar with. Got a red guard operating it all. <laughs> a red, yes, yes, a red guard. That's very funny. Elder Scrolls. <sighs> uh, yeah, he has glasses on and he's. Mm -hmm. He's clearly like an old turtle neck. He's, he's clearly he's the brains of the operation. Yeah, clearly not. Clearly the brains. Yeah. Uh, not not the gun to not a beefy boy. He yeah. has a gun, but he doesn't have <coughs> a big assault rifle. Yeah. He has a pistol on his yeah. side. Yeah. <laughs> he, he he's not the muscle for sure. Uh, they're kind of spread around that sort of room in front of where the, where the vault door is. That room is mostly complete. Because the vault yeah. the vault was built fairly early on. Okay. As soon as the floor was able to sustain it. <clears throat> Alright, I'd like to try to sn sneak farther into the room to get like a better hey, we grasp of what they're on. doing, I guess. Because like, I don't really know what they're playing and try to lay over here. It's okay. okay. Alright. Um, so you move into the room. Another self check. Yes, and you sort of duck behind like an Thank like you. an existing de uh, desk. Oh, okay. I'm taking it's, up uh, your offer. Okay, yeah, you. thirty-one. Okay. Jeez. That pass, that's a pass without trace, man. Oh yeah. I mean, I was, I, that, was that with advantage? Yeah. I rolled okay. a ten. I rolled a ten and a four. Got it. Still thirty-one. <laughs> thirty-one on ten. So if you had the. The mastered skill, 31 would be your minimum with pass without <coughs> trace. Yeah. Like where they call 10. You, uh, we'll get right, right into that, Kane. Uh, the rest of you are hauling ass up these stairs. Hauling <laughs> ass. Uh, as fast as you can, realistically. Uh, are you, let me ask a question first. Are you trying to be quiet? I can't. <laughs> clank, clank, clank. I, I physically can't. My dexterity is a six. Uh, ask me to be stealthy. Oh, yikes. And I'm wearing plate armor. A little 
full plate, a little clumsy <laughs> bird <laughs> ball of death. <laughs> that's ask Finn or ask the other guy? No, that's the little guy. Finn's actually kind of stealthy. Oh, okay. <laughs> but but yeah, I'm actually Finn being this bumbly one. No, no, no Finn's fine because he only wears like cloths and oh, furs okay. and has a good dexterity because that's what Can his armor is. Can we just class. carry your guy? Well, I was going to say, I think I want to cast Fly for like the last few Very floors. Yeah. Um, that is definitely quiet. If I cast Fly, I will be having that for an hour of concentration. Yeah. So, uh, Very good. When, when we're getting up to like the so 25th yeah, let's try or something, to I want to as good as Fly can. and help him try to stealth. I think that's a good call. Can Popeye go up the stairs ahead of us and I can see what he's seeing? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I'll do that. I want to do that. Is he still dressed as a prisoner? <laughs> yes, this is so cute. No, I should probably take off the orange jumper suit. Oh, that's true. It would certainly. Uh, yeah, let's we just, don't want him detained. Yeah, let's take off the orange, okay. the orange jumper suit. All right. But I, but I keep it because it's this goes into a fight. Now you would have to um, probably stop in the stairwell to, to do Whoa. that because. Well, if everybody's around though, if I'm like. If I, I'm with everybody. I guess they can like hold your hand and guide you. Up yeah, might might start moving slower because someone's yeah. guiding her. But yeah. when, if we're trying to stealth, we're moving slow. Yeah. yeah. When you see through your your uh, perf, I think we changed perf. it to uh, your little stealthy. porg thing. Mm -hmm. um, you do you can't see out of your own eyes or, or here, but you can feel. Yeah. Yeah. He's just your sense of touch. He's, just, he's there. Yeah. So you can't do both. Is that what you're well, like, okay. it, it, I you have his Popeye sight is. and his hearing. Oh, he has them with him. Uh, but <laughs> you just feel yourself. Right. And you, you wouldn't have your own uh, sight anymore. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So Take a dragon like you send him yeah, up. I'll say he was in the bathroom. Yeah. Yes. Just around. Right. So the he's dragon. Yeah. He's like, oh. He's tiny. He's a little... Good thing I didn't feel like dragon tartar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> because he has like a plus three. For, is, is that what we're looking at? The plus three for dexterity? Or the. Do we have a bunch of dragon meat somewhere? Is that pretty good dexterity? Or is it the yeah, bottom of the Do I have a bunch of dragon meat somewhere? Oh, yeah, you put it in your bag. Hold on, I think. Okay. Because so it doesn't go uh, bad. So he. Because he doesn't have to worry about stairs. He can just kind of zip back and forth. Tommy messaged me about it. Get up there fairly quickly. Oh, you weren't here for that. Yeah, yeah, we killed him. Get to the 30th floor. He gets to the 30th floor. that you were going to. And give me a perception check for. Was it Toretto? No, it was like. Yes. That was like reporting against. That was the guy who we let win the race. Do I have an advantage? Does he have a turn into a perception check? I don't know. Where is that? Since we spoken with him before, we're going to let probably down here. He's a beef king. Oh, yours is written so nicely. Is yours typed? Yeah. Yeah, there's oh. type yours out again. Advantage on perception, right? How, yeah. Yeah, we need How sweet is that? Yeah, I see it. You're just <laughs> like a six-year-old boy anyway. <clears throat> oh, mine's, yeah, mine's not awful. Like, I was, it's, it's a scratch. Oh, gosh, no. not as bad. <laughs> Imsh is, uh, Look at that. Like, Imsh is terrible. Yeah. Do you still have... It has advantage still, on your Imsh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty like, sweet. Like, like holes and stuff. Yeah. Like, like yeah. You, know, you can see them. It does get to use your proficiency bonus, though, which is kind of oh, cool. Oh, it, so it, it, it's even typed, and it looks the same. So uh, it, it has plus oh. four to perception. You made a little change. Be, like, feel, yeah, just feel how thin the like, yeah. item It's got a hole right yeah. there. You lost okay. a lot of hit points. You lost a lot of health. <laughs> With an 11, you, you can hear through the door, through pop a sweet prince. Uh, muffled, the sort of muffled sound of what could be Maybe described like as uh, like, a mild <laughs> <panic>. <laughs> solar adventures of the And he's at the very top, right? <laughs> he's <laughs> at the 30 <laughs> floor, like, like where, where, where the meeting is, 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 was, was happening. He panic? Yeah, like people are, are hmm. you know, hushed and... Hushed, but panicked and frantic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do, does he see any shadows from underneath the door? Can, can we tell how many people are there? No. Approximately? Can Popeye count? Well, oh, you could count. Yeah. You, <laughs> you can see through You can his. tell that there's a lot. Like, some of the muffled sounds you recognize as some of the family members that you met before. Okay. Um, oh, some good. of them are not familiar. One of them has... 
a bit of a German accent that I'm not very good at doing. So can Popeye? I, I tried to learn how to do a German accent for my Pathfinder character, and I cannot do it. Or is there a keyhole that he can look into? Awful. Like Cassandra style. Nine, 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 nine. I don't know that reference, but I sure. haven't. I haven't played far enough to know that you can look in keyholes yet uh, in Dishonored. It might be a different game. That might be Thief. No, no you no. can do that in Dishonored. Okay. I've only made it through the tutorial. Sorry. <laughs> you have a Sorry. Sorry. It's a game reference. Uh, Dishonored's fun. I didn't play the second one. You know what? Sure. I think that's the one I'm playing. Give me one more perception it's check. No, the first one. You played the first one. Oh, it's just a different one. Add four to your roll. It's one game. Ooh, it's a giant Fourteen. Uh, I don't know if that was a nine. Oh, we'll say it was a six. So oh, ten total. Ten. Okay. Um, this door doesn't look directly into the main room, okay. um, but you do see unfamiliar faces. Uh, you see maybe three or four pass through, or pass by like a door that has a glass panel in it. Um, that's really all that you can make out. Okay. Very good. So Papa comes back to me now. Uh, sure. Uh, that makes sense if you like relay that data. Are there any other details that he sees in the stairwell that can help us out? There are. <coughs> I'm gonna drop some stuff. Uh, or that I see through him, what, whatever. No, I, I, I understood. <laughs> um, there, and you have kind of seen this on your way up, but every second or third floor. You see um, uh, an unfamiliar sort of red canister, uh, just sitting there. Not, it's it's not one hundred percent clear. Like it, 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 you take a minute or a second to like look at it and read the sort of documentation that's on it. It's some sort of fire retardant. Uh, <laughs> This building is very strange. <laughs> but, this is a strange but, building. Yeah. <laughs> You've never seen it in Just this right in the future. Yeah. Magical device. Uh, do you recognize those as a family up, or? knows what the frick they're doing <laughs> in this town? Um, Smart people. <laughs> say, uh, why would you know? I was just curious about <clears throat> you're from the future, or, or do we see those? <laughs> He's from the future. Do, do we see those? <laughs> Tom do we pass those as we were walking up? You have been passing them every so often, yes. Okay. Was I familiar with it, or is it just something alien to me? <laughs> it, it's pretty alien. Yeah. It's not something that cool. did, did you you've speak? ever did you really <laughs> interacted with. If you can give me an intelligence Medicaid check. Or... I will give you an <laughs> intelligence uh, check. Yeah. Happily. You not can, it's with the, Finn's 704. Stats. Yeah. But so one he thing, knows exactly what it is. Oh, 17. 17, nice. Uh, so one thing is so you can tell that it is designed to put on fires based on those pictures. Yeah. The text is in uh, Gnomish. I read Gnomish. You do read Gnomish. Gnomish so it's in and American Celestial English. <laughs> oh, the two I know without using that spell. Oh, okay, gotcha. So I can, yes. I can literally read anything, yeah. but I do know Gnomish and uh, some kind celestial of celestial. Read it all. Uh, some kind of relative. I hate Corvus already. It, it and, looks like it's obviously the favorite character. I, I was like, oh, cool. Yeah. Don't pay mind to it. Yeah. It may be useful, but not. You. I mean, there's no fire. Yeah, so I was say, I, I understand see, what the purpose yeah. is. You but, don't understand that you could use it as like a cloud or whatever. Yeah. Or a weapon. Yeah, I just don't know. Yeah, I don't know what it's going to do, but yeah. I understand it'll get rid of fire. How many captors are in the room with me right now? Seven. Seven. Seven captors. Am I Six currently bound? No. No, you're um, just crowded. No one is bound. There, you're just sort of seated on the floor up against one of the walls. With guns. And right. the door is the door is closed. Or is it open? Uh, <laughs> the, the door is closed. <laughs> Do we know that he's captured? I no. Okay. No, I suggested that there's an oh, right. in there. <laughs> All that, all that you've heard was his distress call. Go. Not distress call. Distress call. Distress yes. call. Call. <laughs> yes. <With that. laughs> now, is there a window? There are several windows. Yes. This is a mansion. They got windows. They don't open easy. And in fact, they're, they're kind of like window open the window. <laughs> they're, they're like full wall windows. Now, and what floor are we on right now? Like 30th. 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 And how tall is the building in total? 
400 feet. I mean, how many feet? 35. Four is that? 35. How many feet is that? It's 400 feet tall. Well, between 32 and 35. Oh, between. You're on the 30th floor. Uh, between the two, you're looking at. 40 feet? 40, 50 feet, something like that. Hmm. <sighs> you gonna try to teleport? Scatterport! Why teleport when I can fly? Can you fly though? I thought you, you could bust out the window. You bust out the window. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> You'll probably get shot in the process. Not if, uh. Have you been shot once already? Mm-hmm. Yeah, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm okay. Can you fly? Can you fly? He's rubbing it. Bounce off the big Indian. How far away? How far away is the window from me? Uh, about fifteen feet. Okay, I want to touch my ring of spell storing and cast haste, and then I want to disengage and jump out the window. You mean jump through the window? Jump through the window. <laughs> jump into the window that with a lot of force. Is awesome. <laughs> I love it. <coughs> we'll Are you see going how this goes. to? Okay. Can, I, can I ask you a question? Absolutely. What does di- ha- disengage? I can <clears throat> move thirty feet without provoking an attack of opportunity. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So is that like cool, a stealthy option? No, it's more no. of like avoiding getting out of combat. There isn't you, anyone close you enough do have that, that they would get actually attacked. I thought so. Okay. So, so they wouldn't. So I don't have to do that anymore. You wouldn't have to disengage. Alright, cancel the the haste yeah. and disengage them. I'm just gonna run out the window. You're not going to disengage or haste yourself? Okay. Uh, I don't know if you're going to run out the window. If, if I'm not going to provoke an attack of opportunity... Okay. Oh, okay. Then they're going to shoot you I have a question then. Well, that's fine. Let's... Shoot me. So I can figure out how this is going to work. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. Are you using anything to break the glass before you jump into it? My beak. <laughs> my face. <laughs> my face. <laughs> Actually, I'll, I'll probably just shoulder through it. I think I can shoulder through it. I'm wearing some like leather chef's clothes. You have right. weapons, but whatever. Or I could just use a weapon. Yeah, I could just like hit it with my frying pan while I'm going through. <laughs> that is something that I would recommend. Are your wings big? So that's the one I just. Huh? Yes. Oh, my spoon. I got options. Huh? Yeah. The reason is this is not like more than two. It's not like thin action glass. Awesome. You can just break through and like a fire through it. Like something that you can don't like they use in movies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so you're gonna have to do some damage like, to this glass and then dodge away from them. It is enough. Time you take half damage uh, to shatter it. Okay. Then I'll use my cleave. Okay. I'm gonna cleave through it. Yeah. So you. In a, in a hasty movement, while you're not casting haste, yeah. uh, you stand up and you rush to the window. <laughs> People around you, their mouths drop, and they're like, <laughs> What are you doing? What is this doing? You run to the window, give me an attack roll. You're attacking the window? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is realistically. That's funny. <gasps> <laughs> with your cleaver? Yeah. What kind of damage does your cleaver do? Man, why do they not disarm him first? Oh, to make sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I think it's right. slashing. That's, oh, you're fine right there, silly. prisoner. He's, yeah. fine. Yeah. He's, he's not going anywhere. And one d six fire damage. Does it have magical weapons or anything? Okay. <laughs> so it's like oh, yeah. that's a d eight and a d six. D six and a d six. Okay, so it's twelve <laughs> plus two d six. So you can deal the crit. So it's max damage. Plus, roll. plus 10, nice. plus 5. Plus 15. Damage. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I doubt that window is able to take more damage than a, than a peasant. It's not. <laughs> uh, I feel like glass. a peasant could break the window. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> hey, you hear this, as does everyone else. Crash! Uh, there is a loud uh, cacophonous crashing <laughs> sound. As glass sort of explodes out from the building, uh, and Quetzal, like you have to say call. Quetzal <laughs> runs and starts to fall. Oh shit! Uh, I got time. Go. You do have time. I got time. Uh, at least a little bit of time. 
So that was your action and your movement, and you're now plummeting. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. Because you have to cast fly. Right. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't believe the amount of time that would fall around the day the time to cast fly. That's great. I'm, I'm going to give you inspiration for that. Hey. <laughs> you can fall a long way in six seconds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah. Well, I don't think I'll hit the ground in six that. seconds. I'm going to have to do some <laughs> uh, and I, I won't you won't take any damage from the glass because you hit it with your weapon first. <laughs> not, not, your not your face. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta take a little damage though. Yes. You just gotta sacrifice the body. I think yeah. that, natural shot 20, already. that natural twenty really that was a clutch roll. Yeah, yeah. yeah for real. Uh, <laughs> clutch oh, roll. Dang. So you see Clutch. Yeah. I'm supposed to see the reactions you know, on, on their faces. They're like, this dude just stepped out the at window. This sort of uh, happenstance. Uh, two of the people in that room that you're in uh, who were wielding. Where is that? Yes. Who were wielding very large looking. Uh, tube-like weapons leave the room not in the way that would be going down but in a way that would sort of be looking out mm -hmm. uh, just to see what's the fuck going on uh, there's two of them sort of step that way Okay. Uh, give me an intelligence check Uh, just straight okay. intelligence? Yes. Uh, that's a 13. Or Arcana, if you have it. Uh, still a 13. Yes, okay. Arcana. These are big weapons. Uh, scary weapons. He, he doesn't know what they are, but you do. They're rocket launchers. They're rocket launchers. Yeah. What? Not, Me not <laughs> metagame meta knowledge. Yes. Um, <clears throat> you don't know who or what broke the glass, although you can probably guess. <laughs> uh, it's your crazy bird friend. Mm -hmm. like oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to try to run back off of the floor that I'm on to maybe go up another floor and try to see if I can like look out and see what just made all that that racket. Okay. So, so some of the stuff's going to be happening in the kingdom. Number one, uh, <coughs> those of you climbing the stairs see Quetzal. <laughs> like, pass by real quick. Pass by real quick. Uh, just free falling. <laughs> Crazy bird man. Yeah. Uh, Kane, you make your way uh, with your movement and your dash bonus action. Yeah, that's quick. You can just step yeah, up just there. Yeah. And with that stealth roll, you're absolutely good. <clears throat> even better if you, if you hit a roll again. You make way up and you, and you kind of look out. Uh, and as, as you're looking out, you oh, see, sorry. of course, Quetzal dropping like quite quickly toward the ground. Mm -hmm. And there is another crash from the floor below you as they uh, seem to have like busted out the Piro. Oh, so they can kind of look out as well. More particularly, look out with rocket launchers. <laughs> <laughs> Quetzal. Oh dear. Now's your time to cast fly. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, <laughs> fall about <laughs> most of the way. <laughs> you fall pretty good distance down. Calculate. Uh, I, I need this. I know you don't moment. hit the ground. Before fly goes into effect, okay. which is good, um, but it's pretty close. 
it's uncomfortably, uncomfortably close. Uh, and then you sort of stop yourself. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to fly... <clears throat> I want to fly around to one of the other sides of the building and then go up on okay. the outside, like fly up on the outside of the building. Gotcha, gotcha. At this distance, they will have disadvantage on their rocket fire. Oh, Jesus. Rocket launches aren't that accurate anyway, so I'm, I'm okay with this. Yeah. I'm fine with this. Well, You're a tiny bird. Is, no, like a sniper rifle. It's a rocket right. launcher. Plus, I'm flying in the air. Unless they're like heat-seeking, I don't know how they're going to hit me. Do well, you know, like, I don't know either. Uh, we will see. <laughs> do a barrel yeah. roll. Okay, here we go. I'm using a scary dice. I'm using a scary dice. Oh, God. I hate me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> disadvantage. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Disadvantage. Uh, <coughs> the first shot. There's two of them. <laughs> also, he's had disadvantage before and rolled a 20 with both. Ooh. I have. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, oh, I almost one shot the paladin. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Where is he anyways? Oh, he's in the bathroom he, right now. Yeah, he oh, has no. his character sheet, so he was in the bathroom whenever all this Did happened. Did you miss? Oh. So oh, he's not here. 13 and 19? He's taking a yeah. huge dump. Yeah, he's uh, taking a drag. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. I'm going to roll the second one. Will. <laughs> there's, uh, your, okay. there's your feet dropped. Yeah, so, so I calculated, well, yeah. yeah. One of them very definitely <laughs> will miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of five. That's, that's how far he went down. So, yeah. okay. so about in six seconds. Yeah. Wow. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. That's, that's a lot of feet to drop. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He's a bird. He's used to it. It's the thirteen bad. plus six. God damn! How? What? He's nineteen. <laughs> it's, yeah, it hits. <laughs> no, no. How? How? I have a question. These guys are skilled. How, much else do, you How do they want to do this? How much health do you have? 59. Okay, so this, I, I doubt this will kill you. Okay. Well, that's, <laughs> doubt. I'm happy you're, doubt. Happy you're uh, well, optimistic. Remember, if it, even, if, even if it uh, puts him unconscious, it's as good as killing him. Mm. Okay, so this is functionally speaking a fireball. Hmm. So, eight. D6. That's some crazy accuracy with a rocket launcher. Well, I don't know about those. These guys are quite uh, skilled. I suppose, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about a plus six, but. Yeah! Proficiency plus dex. And a rocket launcher should be like minus two because it's <laughs> RPG. Yeah! It was a disadvantage, too. Uh, Do you have any potions? Nope, you got a whole lot of shark candy though. Alright. You, <laughs> you do have a whole lot of shark candy. An arbitrary <laughs> maybe, shark maybe candy. Maybe one of those 20 will heal me. so old at this point. <laughs> shark candy. So, at oh. the very beginning, there was a carnival festival thing, and uh, I have 10 of them. They're random candies that do random magical effects. There's to nine of them. Oh or my gosh, candy. that is amazing for you. Good. I rolled four yeah, ones. That's excellent. It was in that uh, wow. festival before. Like, like, I probably should have raged before I jumped up the limit. Okay. So, but they did it like a couple of things. Okay. Rage? I get no. It no. no, wouldn't matter. It's fire damage. It's incredible. Uh, I rolled four make, ones. Make like sparkles appear around you. Uh, so you take a total of 20 damage. Like, 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 I can live with that. They're, like party favors, basically. Yeah, like all minor And you're sort of blasted back. Some of the windows you're close to shatter inward. There's nobody in there, so... It's not really. Oh, it's so badass right now. It does look bad. Yeah, they all the and they just oh, man. And in very much uh, sort of Dragon Ball Z style, you know, when there's just like smoke that like wafts, and you're just like still floating, they're like, <gasps> <laughs> No! Oh, yeah. I put all I had in that attack. I like that. <laughs> Drops dead. <laughs> Great job, Tien. <sighs> oh. Wow. Uh, so you fly them around out of their view. Yeah. And they're like, they kind of swear a little bit. And then they reload their guns, as, <laughs> as they do. Wait, for you, wait to see if you, you're sm uh, dumb enough to come back around. Yeah, by the way, the other rocket has missed you, uh, mm -hmm. flies and hits a sort of adjacent building and just massive explosion, explosion and damage to it. Uh, you can actually, uh, you being outside, can get a full view of. You see a couple of troops of guards coming. They just saw a fireball explosion on the building next door. 
Yeah. And a second one that hit somebody. Yeah, it's pretty loud. Uh, it's they might very be clear now. There's a problem. That there's a problem. And they bring. Hey, I brought the guards, guys. <laughs> What's up? So the guards go on their way anyway. You just no, haven't seen them. They, they saw me. It was, it was all me. Yes. <laughs> yes. It, sure. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> just like how Inch killed that Tarask. <laughs> one shot. He one shot at that Tarask. Don't you forget it. Let's go back and watch our. Uh, first Sounds campaign. like a legend to me. Yeah, it is. Um, <coughs> in our last campaign, we had. Um, so we ended up trying to get like a little item that would have helped us like kill the big bad eventually. Basically, and it was the we apocalypse was going to happen, and we had to do something really, really hard and crazy, or use the fates card and fix everything. So we actually got the fates card. And held on to it to try and do the really hard way. But we succeeded. So we just had a face card in our hands. Cool. And then later on, we ended up fighting the Tarask. And we're like, let's use that yeah, it was, face card. It was, it was, it was wrecking all of us. Uh, and he yeah. one shot and it? No. Sweet uh, water. No, he hit it once. It's all right. it's then then to, uh, Tommy's, <laughs> Tommy's character is the one that had the face card. I'm not card. really either. He used the face card. Or anything else so like so it. Well, and because it lets you it's undo pretty, any one right. event that has happened in the past. Yeah, I knew it was a pretty hot. And they, they yeah, undo the hot. bad yeah. the theft. Roof, stealing the item that held the terrace. Oh. So he just disappeared. Yeah. So we were still in this in the place. Very, the very smart. Just it's, disappeared it's, after it's, he should have it disappeared. And she killed the terrace. Well, yeah, <laughs> Imch hit it once and then was like, so so put it down. Like he hit it once and then it hit him once and killed him, and then and then. We made the Tarasque disappear, and then he was revived almost <coughs> instantly. And uh, he, so he saw it hit once. Pain. That's a good story. <laughs> yeah. That's Explosions a good story. happening you outside. Never know. As you watch, one of them directly hits quite slow. but he seems okay if a little charred around the edges. Kane says, uh, "Damn, Quetzal's a badass." <laughs> it uh, smells great out chicken. there. And we yell, "You sons of bitches killed Quetzal!" <laughs> and he flies around the other side. Oh. Yeah. Okay. He's totally fine. Uh, which is good. I will say that out loud, though. Yeah. <laughs> kind of how John McClane just screams at em- emptiness a lot. Yes, he does. <laughs> he does, indeed. Uh, you can also, looking down, see oh, maybe true. 30 or 40 guards heading your way. Um, they have a wagon or two. Oh, no. Uh, the wagon's with, in trouble. With stuff in it. Um, something that looks like it could be a battering ram. Uh, <laughs> there's some items. Some pointless shit. Uh, stuff that would be useful for like getting into buildings. Hit it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a little bit of time though. What'd you like to do? Um. Well, I need one person, just one individual person to come up so I can kill him and put him back in the elevator. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. A random person is still <laughs> Sure. Random person heard Suddenly. me shout. Uh, yes. So the elevator dings. Uh, and one of the what guys, you? one of the like sort of piddlier guys, uh, was sent up to investigate. By okay. himself. When the, w- okay. When the, yes. Uh, <laughs> by all himself. right. When the, it, when the elevator rings, I'm going to. It's like, quickly. Oh, crap. And hide real fast. Jump into a plant. He That's has. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, what appears to be a rifly kind of gun uh, that has a nice little clip in it. Not a pistol-y gun, mm. but a rifle gun. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. I Again, you're not familiar with firearms, firearm, so it's just like a long... A longer... A weapon. long gun okay. thing. Yeah. An arm gun. He's holding that club really Oh my weird, god. Like, <laughs> you know it's okay. not a club. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've seen them use it on... Well, I watched him use it on Quetzal. You they did. shot him earlier. You did, yes. So he has that fair. freaking rocket launcher on him? No, no, no. No, no, oh, okay. no, no, uh, no. Quetzal's been shot uh, hit Although, twice. No, I've been, been shot a couple to times you. today. Although, to be fair, it's a regular uh, rifle. You know, you'd probably be fine because, like, you know, dexterity. Be able to figure it out. Okay. Well, I, I rolled but another stealth check just in case, and it was an 18. What I, ro- I rolled an 18, so. Oh. Gotcha. Plus his things. Plus yeah. all his yeah. You're definitely hidden. Um, he <laughs> sort fun. of walks up and, and begins looking around desks and things. 
Uh, he's getting pretty close to where you are. Okay. What would you um, like to do? I want to try to... <clears throat> I want to wing a dagger behind him, like across the room. Okay. Like, a so place that's like, out of, yeah, like, get him to, like, real quick, jerk his head over there. Do I need okay. to roll for that or... No. Uh, okay. No. I mean, not you're aiming at anything aiming in particular. Just to make a sound. You're just using a big noise. Yeah. So I throw one of my little... He obviously, knives. Uh, hearing the sound, he turns, because he's a dum-dum that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so he is facing away from you now. Okay. What would you like to do? I'd like to stab him. Okay. <laughs> Let's get that attack roll. All right. With advantage. Because he can Because tap. he clearly doesn't know you're there. Yeah. He he has an idea that I'm somewhere. He just doesn't know that I'm behind him with a knife. Yes. Ooh. Oh, so close. <laughs> uh, rolled a 19. Oh, man. Plus. Yeah, that would definitely hit. Yeah. He is stabbed. Sufficiently stabbed. St- Oh, your damage. Sneak attack. Um, can I borrow a? Wait, hold on. No, that's the right. That's the right amount. I get five. Oh, and a D four. Oh yeah. That's right. And a D four. Stabbing them too, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's 15. 25 plus 6. 31. 31. <laughs> Points of damages. 31 damages. The piercing. And I'm not going to attack again, too. Hang on. 31. No need. Fantastic. Silent. You, you do the good old penumbra execution. Yes. Um, you, having been trained by the best of assassins, uh, stab him with, like, at the base of his neck, mm-hmm. that's angled down. Yeah, kind of. So that there's no blood spray. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like my, and like my first kill of, the, of this campaign. Clean. You mean my boss? Yeah, yeah, I hear yeah, this. Clean, d- quiet. Um, he's a dater. <laughs> super yeah. dated. <clears throat> yeah, that, that first session was a was a wild one. Yeah. <laughs> I died. Was it was a wild one. You did actually yeah. die. Quetzal. Yeah. Quetzal died. We like Quetzal died. We had to. We had to. We had to. We had to. Like, <clears throat> rent, was essentially, wreck him. It's close. He's a wild card. What would you like to do with this? Um. I'm going to grab a chair from wherever I'm at. Okay. Sit, sit him yeah. down. Sit him uh, in the chair back in the elevator, <laughs> and like, right like on his chest. Like this. Now I have a machine gun. Ho ho ho! In the in a little in a little bit of blood that's on my dagger. Just <laughs> okay. <laughs> and if there's a Santa hat available, I'd like to put that on him as well. There <laughs> was one in his pocket. Sure. Sure. Why not? I like for, it. For for con- consistency. For, for, for reasons. Yeah. Yeah. For really very understand. specific yeah. reasons. And I'll <laughs> send it back down to the 30th floor. Very good. Uh, there's a sort of cutaway scene where the elevator opens mm-hmm. and... A woman screams. And a woman screams. Probably <clears> a <throat> younger sister. Uh, who is... The most quite, dramatic. Quite <laughs> unused uh, to the presence of violence in any kind. Especially not in this format. Although your kill was very clean, so it wasn't. It's not one hundred percent clear that he's dead until you really go and look at him. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh yeah, no! Wait, so let me. Nope. <laughs> ah. A little bit of uh, disquiet <laughs> like moves through the crowds. Uh, oh, I took notes while I was watching last night. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, what should I do? Let's make sure I get this right. <laughs> Down to sneak, sneak attack, kill the German, 
Tank machine gun, send body back to 30th floor. The German. <laughs> now he is. What you have. By the way, uh, because this is important, <coughs> what you have is called an auto rifle. Oh, my God. You're the best person That's to have. Did you come up with that? Mm-hmm. Did you come up with that? Mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> Very clever. It Gerald. does. Original. Uh, you're not proficient. <laughs> no. So you would uh, use it with. Dex only? Disadvantage. No, I'm sorry. No proficiency. Just your dex bonus. Yeah, it just be the dex bonus. That's... Uh, It does. still... It does. I can still... I can manage that. 1d6 piercing per shot. Uh, You also have two clips. It's uh, reload. If you're kind of making notes here. Uh, It is reload 30. So you can shoot it 30 times before you... Have to reload it. So you have um, 60 shots. It is misfire three. So if you roll three or lower, because yeah. you're jams or breaks. Okay. How many shots can I fire in one round? Um, it has something called burst fire. Which, technically speaking, you can't really use because it requires grit. <laughs> grit points. Uh, but we will, where is that, um, we'll say that you can shoot it a number of times equal to your proficiency modifier. Okay. For your stick. Okay. So, so three shots yeah. per So three action. shots per. If you use your attack action to use it. <coughs> Which essentially is like, it's 3d6, but you have to roll each time to see if you hit. Or break the gun. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can I still get a uh, sneak attack on it? Technically speaking, yes. Lovely. Assuming that you have uh, advantage on the attack roll. Uh, or, or are hidden. Or are hidden, which kind of does the same thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. <clears throat> sneak attack rules apply. Standardly, so. All right. Yeah. By the way, if it does jam, you don't know how to fix it. So no, it's just a broke. Yeah, it's, it, it's it's now again just a club. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> club with a boom end. Mm-hmm. Your family notices that he sends a couple of other people out to sort of investigate. Uh, and Coral is real mad. Like real mad. Because mm-hmm. that was his brother. Is that right? Yeah. That his brother? Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's pissed. I think Kyle. I think it was Kyle. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> After I get that I'm gonna try to go to the roof. But <clears throat> okay. Get to that, whatever. Yes. Other group, which is basically a group one else. <laughs> uh, Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. Are... Hello, bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I'm a robot. That's, that's a good impression. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's, what, that's what I hear when the clank talks. Bleep, bleep, bloop. Uh, 25th or so floor. Uh, and you start to kind of slow down because you're getting close. Except for Clank, because he's a robot. Except for Clank, because he's a robot. Is he, is he riding on a yes, little sh- that's what he's doing. shoulder saddle? Yes, thing? wearing a squirrel suit, assless chaps. Yeah, assless chaps. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> squirrel suit and assless chaps. He's a robot person. He can go from like <laughs> all the action figure size to three feet tall to like nine feet tall. And he's oh, an action figure size. Like Jet Jaguar. <laughs> He's action figure size on Finn's shoulder. We've made a little saddle mount for his shoulder. And he's got a, like, I've got a, a wolf hat, like a wolf skin as a cape and like wolf fur. And then he's got like a squirrel skin as a cape and fur. With and chaps. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sweet. And we get closer and closer and reach the floor. Uh, everyone give me stealth checks. What one do we use? 20. D20s. Oh, wait. 
This one? Mm. I, have to do, I have to do something now? Yes! yes. <laughs> your first roll so it's ever. Right. And then go to your stealth <laughs> skill and add that to it, which should be done here. The three total? Plus five? So yeah, five. five. Yeah, so have five to that, and then that's your total. 20. Nice. 16 20. for Clank. 16. That's a good first roll. 22 is good. Ben has a 21. Our numbers are good. That's what you want. And Corvus has so where do I put that? Oh, <laughs> no, no. no. He's just, I rolled a so two. So basically, he has a number in his head, two. and as long as you hit that number, you're okay. good. If you don't hit that mm. number, you mm. fail, and then someone sees you. I am oh, okay. flying, and I do have disadvantage. You want me to roll again? I rolled two. Uh, I'll say that because <laughs> of flying, it's just rolled a straight roll. Dice okay, for the well, first time? Yeah. Uh, it's not great. Good at all. Mm. Uh, I feel like Mal's really not liking this new bird Everyone else is like... Kind of quietly making Shut your way up. And, <laughs> and I just fly right <laughs> into the <Yeah>. ceiling. Clang. <laughs> <laughs> Be better if there was a ceiling fan. <laughs> <laughs> Feathers. <laughs> just, just see like Mal over here. Be, it's like. like yeah. And uh, like Harriet's, Harriet's uh, mall yeah. like the car hits, hits the it's upper like ceiling and you're as I'm growing and I'm naming so it. <laughs> yeah. And kind of makes a somewhat loud noise. And they send two individuals uh, to investigate. That is to say, a uh, fairly a larger, <coughs> ragey man. By the way, the ragey? stair, the stairwell. That's a word. Okay. Is I'm just making sure I heard it properly. <laughs> not very large. So yeah. Kind of single file. And cool. It's, very challenging to get in combat wise. Which leads me to my next question. Who I'm leading the Marjorie Order. Both my characters. He's you. the one closest to the bad guys. Collective you. Yeah, collectively and me. Corvus. And or Corvus being the Clank's closest. on top of Finn's Yeah, I think Corvus would be in the very front. Okay. Finn would be right behind him. Because he's the one to be wow. Um, Who's next? Mm. Probably one of you two. I got a 22. I'm hitting the aft. You're probably at the back. Yep. Because you don't like that. this whole situation. <laughs> Is the Luck and Answer on the Dropbox? I, I believe so. It's in the, the document, the Azure on document. <clears throat> Arcane classes, Bobby. So it's Finn and Corvus. <laughs> and then it is. Oh, Clank's there too. And after that. Is anybody wrong for Clank? All right, I'm running. Okay. I got him. Uh, after that bleep, would bleep, be bleep. Harry. <laughs> would Harry be next in line? As far as this? Yeah, as far as like climbing the stairwell. I yeah. have the lowest, so wherever that fits is. Well, it's, no, it's, it's that more, was just stealth check. more a decision of where you'd want to be in the line of all these people going up the stairs all the time. Oh. No idea what I, happened to I, I would, yeah, I mean, somewhere near the front, because okay. so the group. Because yep. you're melee. Very good. Uh, so then that would leave Krishna would be next, mm -hmm. probably. Yeah, definitely. Where is she? Um, Jezebel. Jezebeth. Je Jezebeth. Jezebeth. Sorry. Jezebeth. <laughs> Sorry. New. I'm new. Um, Jezebeth is a sniper. She, she would probably be in the oh, back. Oh, very back. Uh, just as a sort of standard mode. Yep. Uh, back with Mal. So then the last three would be Clank, Mal, and Elizabeth. Clank's with you. Oh, oh yeah, Clank's on Finn's shoulder, that's right. Who is Clank? He's a robot Tommy's character. Who's Wait, Tommy's character. Oh, Tommy's, Tommy's character, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what path he took. He took the one with that the has tables. the tables. All the tables. So he has all these tables? Yes. Not all yeah, he never uses well, them. Oh. He doesn't. He has a healing table, though. He, he not have, he's not high enough level. He's got two of the tables. Yes. He has two of the tables, yes. Okay. Cool. He's, yes. Got, the, he's got the one that's the healing table, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's got the healing table and he's got the Will of the Wild. Which is the, yeah, fun. which is a random one. Which you can is, do anything. I'm going to have some fun with this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he's not used either one, like, but once. Yeah. There we, is a... Learn. Point. A thousandth of a chance. There's like a, it's it's like, you have to roll a ten, and it may be the third table, but if you roll a ten, and then roll like 97 to 100 on the percentile, 
you can it, it'll cast meteors for them. Yeah, it's ten and it's ninety eight to a hundred. It's yeah. very that's the third difficult to cast. That's, yeah, that's a very it's not impossible. <laughs> very bottom and then very top. Yeah. <clears throat> now these two individuals at step out. Who shall they point? Oh, we'll do 10. Not them. I don't know if they're a monster. How many luck points does he have? It says 9. He's used 1. Okay, so 8 luck points left. Alright, we're going to get wild up in here. Yeah. Get wild. What's that? What I miss? Okay. I've been here. Very large, mad dude. Oh, raging guy. Raging guy. I haven't missed anything. Kind of like the door in. And to our hall? To the stairwell. Mm. Where you guys are being noisy. And how far away is he from me? What the hell's a flump? A weird a flump. T- uh, telepathic creature. It is a little like CR one half like floating weird, jellyfish floating that jellyfish is has eyes. Eyes. <laughs> has eye stalks. Yeah, and it's, okay. it's like a telepathic creature Aww. with it's, some psychic abilities. They're usually pretty chill. Like, they're yeah. not generally hostile. No, they're usually, they're, uh, like, internet. neutral good, I think, is what they're 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 is. Oh, that's exactly like me. Can I have a pet one of those? Yes. Possibly. <laughs> they're usually in the other dark. Oh, it's a pH. Yeah, Wait sorry. a second. I gotta oh, they're cute as hell. There's hell. Here, we'll get it, Bob. We'll get it. Oh, it's precious. It's like a crab. Yeah, they're like this like big, like and they just kind of float crab. around. Crab. Yeah. Yeah. He oh, kicks man. the door in. He sees. That's the one I want. A you. Girl. He happy. sees Finn's gigantic. You say he sees me and then Finn. Oh god. It's Kane. It's t- and totally. he's going to shoot. T- yeah. Uh, I don't get to shoot for him. Nope. Donald Flump. Well, he has to shoot <laughs> either Bob? me or Finn. Where's you guys rest? I don't like the lips. Well, <laughs> uh, Amy's in there right it's now. Donald Trump. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. oh god. It's Donald Flump. Oh god. It's got the hair and the lips. Uh, it's, it's so funny. Okay. <laughs> I dig it. Sorry. <laughs> no, Let me there. see. Give me just a second. I gotta do a number of things here. This will actually affect many of you. Shit. Because it is made against each creature within a 30 foot cone. Was that an attack? Yes. Shotgun. Uh, what do you roll? If the affected creature is adjacent to you, like Finn, then they'll suffer double damage. Can I do a. Uh, oh, no, it's a luck point? It's a shotgun. When he's luck point? How does he get double damage if he's adjacent? It's a shotgun! <laughs> but. Shotgun blast so the face. Corvus. I'm saying Corvus would take the blunt of the barrel of bullets and fewer oh, bullets would be behind and that. And fewer bullets would be behind that. Reasons. Oh, actually, fewer bullets. I'm in the back. Do I get hit? You're, you're starting it. There's no way. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Rah, 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 rah. Yeah. All right, Corvus. You picked up her tool. She's ready to go. Mm-hmm, probably not. Yeah, probably not. Hey, get down from that there. That is going to be... That's 11, so that misses Corvus. And, yep, that was off my armor. And, nope, I'm gonna roll shit for all of this. Who's next? Harriet, Harriet. Who's next? The clank's on controller. 15, doesn't hit you, I don't think. What's your armor class? 17. Okay. Alright, I don't know if it'd be possible for bullets to go around okay. Harriet. Moving on. Well, that's arguably true. But who's next? Sex. Can, you oh, hit, can I hit Clank? Oh yeah, Clank. Oh yeah. Fourteen. Luck point. Wait, his, also his he was on Finn's 14. shoulder. Huh? Oh my god. Yeah, that's exactly fourteen. Pretty bad. His, his, wait, his, Clank's AC is fourteen. What is that? The Clank okay. is so he Tommy's luck character. Boy. It's always uh-huh. luck point. And he's a little right. robot. He's yeah, a little robot person. Okay. I can like shrink and grow yeah, he's an extra size. bigger size. Right okay. Three feet. Three feet. Yeah. Tracks about one. <laughs> Which doesn't well, hit. It doesn't right. hit. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Very 
Nice. Uh, so that it shoots out. Twelve inches of penalty, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't hit any of you guys. It makes me sad. Uh, and the other guy kind of shoots from behind him and is going to shoot at Corvus. Good. Cool. Oh, I'm sorry, now let's say that out loud. Why not? <laughs> A little bit psycho on that part. Oh, I'm like, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yep. And who's cool? So, uh, yeah, that's probably oh. going to hit. Just and you hate his character? Yeah. Another uh, like 13. Like, yeah, that's so. it. Okay. <laughs> now. Exactly. My character's a cat. <laughs> we'll start at the top yeah, of the line. Yeah, I'm heard it. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get it. We will start at the front of the line. <laughs> cool. With Corvus. Ah, um, bird. Oh, no, we're under attack. <laughs> Yeah. Help, bird. Uh, oh, bird. <laughs> I'm going to cast bird is the word. a spiritual weapon, bubble. which will be a second level. Okay. Um, I don't know how the small big thing works. A large ruler. I think he just does like it. Like you see from a classroom. Yeah, but do I have like any penalties? Smack my yeah, yard that stick. is hilarious. I love that. Okay. I so, does it take an uh, action? Attack roll with plus spell. I think it does take an action to grow. Mm-hmm. Sure. Oh, I rolled a one. Great. I don't think it's a will. So, that is a Hey, no, 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 get down. Sure See, you're going to roll. She said, rough. It's not very good at fetch either. It's our bark no, silencer. She, like, literally dropped it, oh, and she's like. Oh. Yeah. She's selfish, too. She hides it. Anyway, she won't come roll the one, so I'm going to roll. And growls at her, like, I have. Yes, please. She's a little bitch. Okay. Yes. Uh, 31. 31. Did she say 12 this month? Okay. Oh my gosh. She's an old bitch. So. <laughs> she I'm gonna is. Punch you. Well, she <laughs> is. Well, she is. Roll her through a weapon. Goes to swing. You have to be able to reach it. At first. What? I have a You're pistol right here, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, the main guy? The second guy. Okay. Um, and I almost choked on what that. What it does <laughs> instead is it hits like a nearby chair. Yeah. <laughs> and it like shatters into a hundred pieces. Uh, and it's very loud. Uh, and you hear Grons in the sort of main room like shouting t- for them to... What's going on? Yeah, like, what's going on? Uh, Germans! Back. Are they Germans? Yes. Vass is going on. Vass is <laughs> Germans! <Yeah>. Wow! <laughs> the Germans that sound very English. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> um, <coughs> so that was my bonus action. Oh. I'll use my action. Because he didn't do very uh, much of a, an attempt to do a German accent. Right in That's front okay. of me. This is right. Right. I think it's it's Alan Rick, but it's okay. The big guy is... Is, is normal voice is too good to waste. Of you. Yeah, because get, you're like yeah. right in front of the door. I want to get right up on him and attack. Who are you, okay. Finn? Um, no, uh, Corvus. So do I? I don't have advantage for anything. So they better have brought a lot more no. people than Hans okay. did. Uh, like twelve. That would be a three hundred and forty-two. He's dead. Cool. Uh, Twenty-two. I fucking hate. Twenty-two <laughs> will hit. Yeah. So heavy really good. Good. <laughs> Um, D six. Uh, eight points of piercing damage. Nice. Okay. So he's still alive. Oh, he's fine. Good job, Corvus. Yeah. Yes, he's definitely still alive. You had alive. one job. Eight mm-hmm. damages. Okay. Now your other character is next. Uh. Okay. Finn. Oh, yeah, he's next. Finn is next. Get him. Um. So Finn will rage mm-hmm. and attack the first guy first with his great sword. Okay. Oh, recklessly, I should say. Oh. Well, I rolled As 19 on the first one, yeah. so uh, I don't think it matters. Yeah. So 19 plus uh, 10, 29 to hit for the first attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's 3d6. The pink one will be the lightning damage. Okay. Was it lightning or did I do ice? Ice. Pink one is the ice damage. Very good. Uh, five uh, plus seven plus two. 
14 slashing damage, <laughs> 3 ice damage. 17 total. Yeah, 17 total. Okay. Foils in. What does ice damage do? Anything? That's mm-hmm. my first attack. He's still just, standing, just right? Just a different type. Not, not typically. Just, just colder? Yeah. It, I mean, it hurts. It's yeah. more damage. Yeah, it's just more damage for these Frosty guys. Frosty damage. Um, second attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, also reckless still. As in tradition. Uh, it's 20 to hit. Yep. Same guy. Yep. Um, Blue one will be the, or the green one will be the ice damage. Nice. Uh, Sixteen slashing and plus four ice for a total of twenty damage. Mm-hmm. How many dudes are there? Two. Right. Two now. right there, but in immediate vicinity. Yeah, more, more coming. Um. Okay. Next would be unless you wanted to move. Clank? Mm. It's kind of difficult to move. I'm just kind of going to... Clank. Yes. All right, well, Clank's going to shoot a deal with his crossbow, yeah. because, yeah. you know, what else can he do? Okay. I mean, I guess I'm in, technically in melee range of a one finished shoulder. How does that work? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're, this looks really cool. We're treating that like you are with the melee range. Um... You oh wow! This one's just like dangerous. Yeah, it's so tiny that you can kind of just like, like lumber, 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 screw lumber, like it. Imagine lumber, stepping on. Would I oh, would I get a penalty yeah. if I use the crossbow? Because I'm a point. That's point awesome. Point. You get the crossbow. Yeah, 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 I like those. You get eat. Uh, is someone dwarven born? No. <laughs> okay, I was just curious. I don't. I don't know. It's Clank, so I don't know what he's got. I don't think so. I would say that. I think the ones that I got were thirty. No. You're you're small enough, <laughs> and you're you're. I would say that you're not it's, it's, okay. It'll just be a straight shot. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the shoot shotgun dude with the crossbow. Okay. Well, that I did. Yeah. For like forty damage. Oh, yeah, that guy. Clank's gonna Clank's yeah, gonna do it. A little top off on it. No, he's not. That's seven. <laughs> okay. Seven total. Nice. That is miss. You see a little tiny crossbow bolt. Stick wow. it to the door. Okay. And that's it. It's tiny. It's, it's, it, it, it almost looks like a blow dart kind of thing. Because uh, you're in your tiny form. Yeah. Just boom. <laughs> boom. Next would be Harriet. Are you a dice dragon? Grow your horde. I like that. Harriet, though, you have a little bit of trouble here because you're in a stairwell and there's several people in front of you. You can't really get at them with your maul. But you could get at them with your Popeye. Popeye's brutal. He is brutal. I want him to tear at somebody's throat. I'm not sure what that does. I'm going to start turning all mine He can also distract them. Yeah. So, okay. Are we on the stairs on the incline or are we on the landing? We haven't gone very far, have we? We're on the 30th floor. We're stuck at the door right at the end of the staircase. Okay. Like piling up at the doorway. Okay. It's just like a... Stairwell. Like, the oh, there's a little bit of one. Looks like a treasure chest. Up, there's, a, there's a little bit of one. That thing. It's like a service staircase. It's small. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's really nothing I can do. I don't know what I can so there's do. There's nothing hanging down that I can, like, jump over the people or anything, right? No. I don't know. What would be best? Should I, should I send Popeye can, in? Can you attack? Can she attack? With Popeye. She doesn't. Uh, do you have any ranged weapons? I don't think so. Where would I find that? Right there. It's like one. one there, there, there. No. I have a hatchet. Where do you see oh, right a hatchet? Hatchet? Oh, right here. Hand axe, sickle, short bow. Hand axe is a range weapon. Wait, where are you looking at? Mm-hmm. It's a dwarven in it. Oh, yeah, right here. Right there. Yeah, hand axe, short bow, net, and maul. Oh, and a short bow. You do have a short bow, so you can shoot one with your short bow. You can scroll down through the whole thing. 
plus eight to hit. What's that mean? You roll a d20. Oh, okay. Easy peasy. Should okay. So should it be with a short bow or should I send Popeye? You can do both. You can do Popeye as your bonus action. Okay, let's do that. You remember? No. (laughs) Okay, so this, right? Yeah, d20. Okay. Hey you. Fifteen. Fifteen plus your eight for the. So 23? Yeah, 23 will probably hit. 23? 23 plus 12. No, 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 no. No, no, go that way. Go around. Okay, so, and then I do 1d6 plus 1. So I just roll this. Okay, Mommy, that's okay. That's right. 6. 6 damage to that front guy, the shotgun idiot. And then I use Popeye now? Yep. So I roll the d20 again, right? Yes. And then what do I do after that with, with Popeye? He has a plus something for the attack to hit. An attack. Okay. Where am I looking? Make sure you put there how much quest is the badass. 13? Mm-hmm. 13 to hit? She's talking about. He took out like six guys when so it was one out the window. I didn't see that. Nothing. Embellish it a little bit. Okay. He's just not floating and makes that loud, obnoxious noise that he makes. Okay. Those are singles. Okay. I'm sure they have all the goods. Okay. 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 For purposes of this, I think that, uh, we'll see. Next would be Mal. Okay. No. Next would technically be Krishna. Krishna can't do anything. Krishna's Krishna's in in the bathroom. He stayed in the, he stayed in the lobby. Yeah. We don't have his character sheet. Character sheets. Oh! So we just, we just <laughs> decided to say that uh, he was taking a big dragon he's, he's deuce in the, in the lobby. Like Has n- no idea what's happening. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> no no clue. Let's so go he's going to come out and everyone's gone. It's like, we're in the waiting room. Dragon deuce. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. Now okay, we're in the waiting room. Great, 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 great. I'm... 100% he like okay. may have just walked back into the room we were sitting in. You make it up like he's just 10 flights of stairs and he's like, oh. And he darts into one of the like. I'm going to have to request that he gets XP gains for taking his dragon do stuff. <laughs> you will. That's okay. Good. Um, it doesn't he did some like serious ass. work in there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yes. You would be next. You would be next. Oh. And you can uh, shoot him. Oh, cool, yeah. You guys have some cover because, you know. There's people in the way. Wait, I can't shoot him. I don't have a gun. You I have can throw a knife at us. Well, you can you don't have a bow or anything? Throw a knife in no, his kit. No, I'm throwing daggers. Well, okay. Those will work. His, his, his AC will be higher because he does have some cover. Am I able to recollect these after I've thrown them? You've got yeah. four regular daggers and three plus one daggers. Oh, okay. Yeah. If okay. you're a rogue that, that uses daggers, I always assume you just have a shit ton of daggers. Okay. So you have a yeah. bunch of the regular daggers. I think at the beginning of this campaign, I, like, I, the plus one. I thought, I thought <laughs> to like every conceivable place that I could carry a dagger, and I came with like 17. Yeah. As, as like when I play... It's one of them in your prison pocket. Which is hmm? not awesome. One of them in your prison pocket. Uh, just because I don't play much. I think I was near the bottom. As a player, um, I tend to carry around See the canes of man of taste. <laughs> Things okay. only... I mean, there's exit. a lot of places you can find <laughs> daggers. I'm going to put that on here. Canes of man of culture as well. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw some daggers. Okay. How many can I throw? Three, two, mm-hmm. uh, one. Uh, one. Yeah. <laughs> it's not how many attacks you get. Move, That's and it. then I can I can no. only do move. You get one attack. You well, okay. So you have a move action, which you can't really move anywhere right now. Right. Uh, you have your attack action mm-hmm. or your standard action, which you'll be using to attack, which will be throwing the dagger. And then there's something you get, after that. It's a you bonus action. You'll get to add your sneak attack, attack damage to it, though. Yes. Oh. Which because means Corvus 4d6. Since and Finn are within melee range. Yeah, so anytime, anytime mm-hmm. one of your allies is next right. to... Right, okay. You get that sneak attack. All right, but you so... You don't have advantage on the attack roll. Just sneak attack damage. So, so what do I roll, guys? I'm really roll roll 20, 20. or d20. Whichever one you wish to use. Okay. And add your attack bonus. It would be a plus seven if you are using a non-magical, or plus eight. How do you know that? I should say right. It's it's d- yeah, that's with the plus one. Yeah. It's dexterity plus. If, your if you're gonna pick it up, just use your plus use one. Use one yeah. of those three. You can just pick it up after you, after you yeah. kill them. Okay. Up. <clears throat> one of those six. Six plus eight. <clears throat> Fourteen. 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 Fourteen does not hit. Oops. 
Clank. Uh, it does sort of oh, wait, ricochet wait, all wait, the uh, wall. Uh, uh, You're going to spend luck point? Yeah. Okay. 14 for plus. <laughs> that was Clank. Seven. Oh, yeah. 21. 21. He just added his number to my number? Yep. That's, yep. that's, okay. that's so what Tommy's like like character is. Spinning through the air, it just kind of just... <laughs> like, you throw yeah. it short so turn into less. <laughs> you throw it, and it... Or bounces off. off. It was off a little bit. And you knew it, like, the second... You let go, you saw it. Miss. Oh, no, I'm going to miss, but it hits the wall, and it ricochets. Like, right into the ear? And it, and it hits him <laughs> anyway. Uh, which is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, crazy. Like, it didn't stick in the wall or anything. It was like, no, it's like, it's like, it, it, it ricochets off the door frame. It ricochets off of the door frame and hits him. Effectively. Just... Now, as characters, do we know that Clank influences these? We just think it's just random chance. No, I think <laughs> Clank is like, let's go. on the carpet. Did you rage poop? I don't see it. I don't smell poop in the hallway. I don't, I don't smell know. anything. Yeah, it looks like that's poop. Okay. Oh man. Well, you we'll rage pooping? Yeah. Seriously? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> but do the characters know <laughs> that Gross. Clank is doing I feel this? like they. I feel like they should. Or is like it Clank's like Clank's like just a robot that hangs out with us and somehow magically shit um, just goes right? I don't know <laughs> that Clank's ever come out and said, "Hey guys, I can manipulate." Does Clank love. know that he's manipulating? I feel manipulating like there's, he has to yeah. do something he knows that he makes is. us think. Okay. Like, if you're paying attention to him, then you probably realize something's happening. Okay, I can wait for He's doing something. Watch your step, guys. I thought Clank was just, like, lucky. Like, that was it. He was just a lucky dude, and, and stuff just, just goes right around him. Real humans get to choose when his luck happens. Yeah. <laughs> I read an amazing story about a dog that pooped in the house. Um, so, it hits. Roll your damage. Oh, What's that? 1d4 and 3. 46. Literally every conceivable surface in this entire house is covered in dog. Stabby triangle one. Stabby triangle one. Stabby triangle one. There you go. That's a rumor story. All of that together. The poopocalypse. Oh, I think I read that like so. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait. I think you're the one that shared that. I saw it. The pooping. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. I heard the pooping and amazing. It's the pooping coming again. <laughs> plus five. Nineteen plus five. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Plus five. What? What? It does this plus one. Oh. Change that to a five. Nice. Change this to a five. Yeah. As long as it's a plus one dagger. But the yeah. regular dagger is a four. Okay. Yeah. Good test. All right. Now. When's our break, guys? Very soon, Jezebel. Oh lord. You are next. Oh, for what? <laughs> See, you can sh probably, possibly shoot. Is he still all right up? The like like enemies? Time? You have. Oh yeah, is that guy still standing? Yes. Okay. Damn. Ah, He's a beast. Good okay. thing I jumped out the window. <laughs> He's a beast. <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I mean, I have a <coughs> sword and a hand crossbow. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shoot him. So what do I do? I don't so do you want to shoot him? You roll a um, your twenty. So what does that mean? This, that's the big so one. You yep. roll this one. And that's that's an attack roll. You yep. also are a crossbow expert. Yeah. And a sharpshooter. That's nice. So you ignore. You can pierce this. You ignore all cover except for full cover. Full cover. So like if they're obscured, so as long as you can see their them. face showing, you can still hit it no problem. Yeah. So what should I do? I don't know what I'm doing. So yeah, shoot, shoot your little hand crossbow. Okay. You roll that deep twenty. Roll so that's your attack. And it'll be. I got twenty. What? Damn. <laughs> First roll. Damn. First attack. Yes. So yes. you're shooting your hand crossbow? Uh sure. Yeah. What's what's your dexterity modifier? Yeah. The stat. It's a plus three. So you're sixteen and it's a plus three because it's. Plus the proficiency bonus. So it would be plus I mean, one for each two over ten. Three. So ten plus two is twelve plus. Uh, hey, sorry. watch where you All walk. Right. <laughs> yeah, plus careful. three. Um, We're gonna get it in a minute. So plus yeah. dexterity plus one. <laughs> so plus three plus. <laughs> where's your hand crossbow at? It's uh, not magical. I don't think. Is right it? here. Right there. So plus eight. What's the all right damage? So one d six plus three. Yeah. So roll it. So roll your d six. Which is like your Yahtzee this dice. Is the your six dice. Your regular, usual, every board game dice. This one? Nope. No, no, this the, one. The, just the normal. Oh. Monopoly dice. 
the cube. Okay, four. so four, and then you so add... So uh, six... No, 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 <laughs> it's a maximum she created. Right, but... So, uh... Okay. Normal. <laughs> yeah, sorry. We when confused you roll a critical <laughs> hit, the standard rule is that you roll your damage dice, which in your case is 1d6. Mm -hmm. You roll it twice and add it together as part of your damage. But, because it has a tendency to make for weak critical hits, well, that's your health roll. roll. I have a health roll where you roll a critical hit, which is your maximum, plus whatever the damage die roll is. So in your case, it's 6, plus you rolled a 4, mm -hmm. right? It's 4, it's 10, plus your dexterity bonus, which is 3, uh, so 13 damage. Okay. Yes. Good shot. Yes, yes. Take that, Raging Bragerton. She probably Ranger. has multiple I attacks. Kind of didn't get she, all that. Does she have more than one attack? I kind of didn't uh, get all I'd that. Imagine she's I didn't. A I, I'm. Yeah. I zoned out for a while. Yeah. To be I'm, honest. I, I, yeah, but yeah. I know you rolled a twenty. And she I know I rolled a twenty. Does she have more than one attack? She's a fighter. So yeah. Yeah. So you get another you attack. Twice. And she's a baller shooter. I know that now. So, so you, get, you get an extra so attack. So which one I roll? So you're twenty again. Yeah. That's your attack roll. And then roll again. Yeah. Five. Okay, now you're going to add... Five plus... So beside of your crossbow, there's a plus something under attack six, bonus. Eight. Oh. Or seven. I mean, there's plus eight. So that's yeah. plus eight, yes. Yeah. So you so add that 13. plus your okay. eight. Okay. Um, and that's your attack roll. Are we... Thirteen. Are we accounting for... Uh, I'm, just, I'm assuming she took the archery fighting style. That's not yes. a plus two. Is that... A, that's in there? It is in there. That's why yeah. it's an eight instead it's of auto six. It's auto-calculated. Yeah. yeah. So 13, what's, what's... What do we do with the 13? 13, 13 is... Armor class. Uh, so 13, which is your attack roll, would go up against the enemy's armor, armor class, class. Which it doesn't Which it pass. does not meet. We know the armor class is below 21. It's <laughs> above it a... Okay. Right? Yeah. And, right. Yeah. and so someone to hit you time. has to get something at 17 or higher. Oh, okay. Because that's so your that armor class. Okay. Yeah, so All essentially right. you're trying that's to hit... So my damage, the 13, their armor class, that's below their armor class. Right. So it didn't so affect like well, not, not, the, not the damage. Um, well, your attack... Whenever you rolled and you rolled the twenty, yeah. So that's that's what you were trying to get higher than the armor class. Your then the thirteen point. was to straight to their hit points. Oh, okay. okay. So, so and then you you've got that, and that after should that be in the okay. Is second. how much damage you do. So yeah. I think that's your maximum hit points. So you okay. would keep track of them here. So that's so you've got a lot more. No, you don't do anything. Now. You're good. You're good. Oh. I'm just letting you know that's where it is. Eighty-four. Damn. As we uh, yeah, sort of go into our break, fighter man, leave you with this. What's your constitution? Fourteen. The large fellow with the oh, okay, uh, drum scatter gun uses his bonus action to drink a greater healing potion, um, healing him forty hit points. Use my bonus. Oh boy, that's, that's like Ben's okay. um, He's going to. Mm -hmm. I have disengage a, on his turn because with, of what, right on his turn with the other the guy too, health. and they're gonna go back into the main room. Uh, great. Which the one that oh. I was killed myself trying to steal Damn it. the giant. Lucky man, so they can't do anything against disengage. No, let's go try to trip him or something. Yeah. But. No, uh, <laughs> so I had sentinel. Yeah, lead, but if Harriet on. were within melee range, she would still get an attack of opportunity, but she's not, unfortunately. Uh, all good. Now, do you follow them? Corvus will immediately. <laughs> Onward, Finn! I'm not saying that he's going to stay there, but I I do know that Corvus would walk into that door and Finn would uh, follow right Yeah, Finn totally him. would. And, I, and as Clank, I yell, Onward, Why does Finn, Finn just follow Corvus? Why do we trust Corvus? Who's Corvus? Yeah, Finn, and where'd he come? Finn follows his blood. <laughs> he was the priest at. I have a problem. He was the priest at his house. Mal doesn't understand that. At his father. Finn, Finn <laughs> follows his blood loss. Mal doesn't understand that. That's true. Finn, Finn would have charged in regardless of the presence of Corvus. Oh, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, uh, so know, that's true. <laughs> Corvus being first. And Clank's on top of Finn. Oh, right. And <laughs> there's a little bit of a problem. Yeah. And this is where we'll sort of take the break. Be damn shame. Uh, there's a little bit of problem. <laughs> you see, you see Bronze. Stick. Huber. You see yeah. Bronze Huber. Uh, Huber. With Huber. Again. Grunt. Huber. Huber. With Althea, uh, King's youngest sister. Yep. Oh. Oh, girl. Holding her by the, like, the scruff. The scruff. Over, <laughs> like you have the human over scruff a, a broken window. Oh, well, that's no problem. Cool. 
Luckily, well, you got an agent on the outside. I'm saying, you are outside. <laughs> you don't see this happening. What? You're on the other side of the That's building. That's true, I don't. Yeah, and you're also like... Around. So did you just, like, break through the window and just, you're outside now? Yeah, I'm, I'm flying. Just I'm around. flying I'm around. around. I'm flying around that and then back up on the other side. <laughs> 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 and then I'm going to shoot through the window. <laughs>